Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. This week we're gonna talk about this ring and how to rebuild the button to avoid those bump. If you haven't seen the video that we built last week for this ring, I will put the video link on the right top corner. The method I'm going to show you will make your ring shake nice and smooth from the top blending well to the bottom. Are you ready? Let's get started. If we take a look on this, notice on the bottom that you have this bump right there. So we actually need to rebuild the bottom of the ring shank. And we kind of take a look on our render view and see where is that bump starting. It's more obvious right here on the bottom there, but it may be starting up here over this area here. So I'm kind of coming into the front view and I'm going to trim it. When you rebuild the bottom of a ring shank, unless it's, unless it's right in the middle, you don't trim your ring shank like this because it's going to be, um, because it's hard to sweep beautifully later on. What we like to do is always draw a line starting from the center of the ring and coming over roughly about here and that is how you're going to cut it and to be symmetrical you always want to mirror to the other side so something like that okay and before you trim it we also need to 100% um, control what the bottom is going to look like so I'm going to draw a surface about right here and then um, I would like to get a profile from there in between those two shapes. So let's go ahead to use the commands called intersect. And it's going to ask you the object for intersect. I'm going to pick up this ring and also pick up this object. And you, when you hit enter, then you will have a curve there. Okay. So once we have the curve, we can pick up this two curve that we draw earlier. And we want to trim the bottom. Okay, so double make sure by looking at the profile right here. I'm going to turn it into the ghost view. As you can see there, it doesn't have any bump there. So it's actually a good position to, to trim over there. Now we need to keeping this as much of an original as possible, but we wanted to make sure the bottom is, is kind of a nice and rounded. So I'm going to pick up this one actually all of this and just hide it. So that's not going to bother us. All right, so we need to fix that. Um, the easy way to fix is I can um, draw a straight line and coming over here to trim off all the extra. So I'm going to using this one to trim off this guy there. All right, and then I'm also going to make it uh, smoothly make the curve smooth and it's go back. So I'm going to use the blend command. We're going to blend from here to here and then click OK. Now, if you don't like this one, when you try to blend, uh, you can actually adjust it by moving those bar here. If you feel like that's too thick and you don't like that and you want to kind of move them roughly about the same place, or you basically what you can do when you do the blend, you can hold in the shift and try to move this so it will move together on both sides. If you like that, go ahead to click OK. Then we'll have this new profile. Let's go ahead to join it. All right. So the way to uh, build it is quite simple. Uh, we need to have a curve over here, a curve over there. So let's use the command duplicate edges. And we want to duplicate here. We want to duplicate here and make sure you join them. All right, so now look at our new curve. We don't need this one. And we have a curve over here. This is the rail, another curve there. All right, so let's go ahead to use a sweep one rail. You got this one, this cross section here, here, and here. Make sure you align it properly coming over here and coming over here. All right, so they are facing the same direction. They are at the same point. And if you click enter, and then we'll get a new shank over there. And all you need to do is join together. Also double make sure um, you can come in over here and see on our render view. See, it's much smoother. 
This technique also apply into a lot of a split ring. Come over to making a, a split ring really quick. So we're gonna do a circle for 16 millimeter, and I'm gonna come in into the right view, draw a straight uh, line on the bottom, and when I'm coming over here, going to bring this one out for something like this. Maybe have this one moving. Okay, so that's my curve and it's snapping everywhere. So I'm coming to the right view and project to the construction plane and I want to uh, delete the input so then I get something like this. All right, so now I have a two flat curve. I can do the um, curve from the two view and then you got one here, you got one here and then you got this one here. So I'm going to hide in those two. Try not to delete your curve because you might need to call it back later. Okay, so for making the ring, um, disregarding the ring size, uh, for this demonstration, I'm simply just going to pipe it. So let's say I want to pipe it 1.2 here, enter, and that will be one side of the ring. Now, if you coming over here, move it to the side, and then you want to mirror this guy to the other side, then you get something like that. We want to draw a surface at the bottom right here. And then we wanted to use a uh, intersect command and we want to click on all three of them. And then so we will get that curve there. So that's the first things you wanted to do. And we can delete that one there. The second thing we actually wanted to cut it in half. So I'm going to draw a straight line snapping into the zero. And then uh, we're going to use that to trim off the bottom half. Alright, so now we get something like this. So we need to blend it again and we need some curve on the side as well. So let's go ahead to duplicate the edges of this one and this one. Alright, so let's go ahead to hiding all of this and just starting with the curve. For this two curve, we can simply just trim each other like this. And for this curve, we can trim each other as well, like this. Okay, and don't forget to join them so they will become a closed curve. The one on the bottom, I might want to get rid of where the middle is, it's, um, is indented. You got a tangent from the curve. I'm going to coming over here, snipping, snapping into the quad, snapping into the quad and from here to here as well. And I'm gonna use this two to trim off the one in the middle. Okay, and then we can just join it. So that's creating the surface. We're gonna use a sweep point rail and we're gonna go from here to here to here. And let's click enter, make sure they all line up facing the same direction and then we wanna click okay, all right? So if you look at the render view, Notice that it does go from split and blend it to the bottom is completely flat. However, this line is doesn't, it doesn't go into the center, right? So this is something weird there. But if you look at the uh, ghost view, you notice that the line, the contour line is actually not a line and that's why it's, it's tilted. I'm going to move this to the side for the comparison. And let's take a look on this. If I hit rebuild, it's showing this is a 44 point there. And this guy right here, it is showing the 44 point as well. All right. So the problem will be the one on the bottom. Let's take a look. It is 36 point. If we change to 44 point and we click OK, and let's sweep one more time. We're going to click on here, sweep from here to here to here and they all line up in the middle and that's hit enter. Now the line is right in the middle. Let's take a look on the render view. See, beautifully. So if we turn it back to whatever we have here, let me turn this into the red color. So uh, it's easier to see. You can do two way. Uh, first, you can kind of trimming each other there and join together, which might be the easy way. Or you can bowling or you can cap this one, cap this one, and cap this one, and join uh, and bowling union together, either way. So let's use the trim tool. I'm going to have this one to trim off the one inside. And the same way using this one to trim off 
this piece inside. So now I have those two, right? The same thing I'm going to use right here using this one to trim off here. And again, using this one to trim the other side. All right. So all we need to do now is join everybody together and then it will come back to the closed solid poly surface. I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully there's no weird shape on the bottom of the ring shank anymore. If you'd like to learn more about jewelry cat design, check out all my video on my YouTube channel and also course on my website. Not only I give a systematic way to teach you how to build a jewelry cat, I also answer students' questions on a weekly basis so they can learn fast and efficiently. Check out my course at pjchandesign.com. I hope to see you there.